And photo critique is going to change everything you know about photography. You're going to learn much more about composition and storytelling and you as a photographer. So here's what to expect from a critique with me. So if you want to get yourself a critique booked with me, here's how to do it. Simply head over to theviewpoint.com, go to critique, and you're going to send me your best 10, 15 or 20 shots. Sit back, wait a few days and I will send you a video giving you a full detailed description of what works well in your images, maybe what you can improve and how to actually do that. It's going to be really casual, really fun, but very practical and very informative. Way back a year ago. So during the critique, I'm going to look at a number of different aspects to help you with your photography. We're going to look at obviously the technical elements, the exposure, the focus, the detail. Then we're going to look at the composition. How is it framed? How well is the story put together? Is there anything you can improve on? And as I said, how to actually do that. But also, let's point out the really good stuff because I'm sure there's some great stuff that you're actually shooting and sometimes you may not be appreciating it. So here's a little clip of what to expect from a crit. So one of the first things that you'll see on screen here, Amy, is this giant big red blob. But it's basically just telling us the sun is so bright that there's no detail there, which naturally happens anyway. But we've not got much in the way of depth to the shot, so to speak. Um, I think because the light is literally hitting the landscape all the way across, there's not really many areas of shadow or tone. Now this is really striking. You've got a lovely range of color. You can see there's actually kind of nice deep uh, tones in the grass there and they, they change kind of tone as you go further into the back of the shot. You've got this lovely established fence in the foreground here as well. I think possibly we can maybe kind of um, just straighten that up slightly, just using the rotate tool here in Lightroom, we're just gonna twist it around I love, I really, really like what you've got here um, in terms of the actual black and white finishing Amy, that this works really, really nicely. Um, the the child here at the front, she's kind of lost a little bit against the trees. I think if she was maybe a little bit further, closer to the camera, or maybe if she had been a bit taller, you know, whether you got down a little bit lower, just to give her a little bit more space um, and kind of more of an outline. I think she's a little bit lost there. So I think with this next shot here, there there was definitely a possibility, but you could possibly see if we zoom in really close, that the sharper area here is actually on the stem, where it is the seed heads here, the, the fruit, I don't know exactly what it is, um, but these are out of focus. So I think your focus point is just actually in the wrong position. If I just grab a little brush here to show you a bit more clearly, the image is in focus in here, but it really should be in focus on the budget because that's 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 the most interesting aspect to the image. So in terms of the images that you send, send me your best shot. Give them the full editing treatment if that's what you like. Don't worry about sending me raw images. I want to see your full workflow from shooting to editing and then but I can help you understand both parts of the photography sphere. Make sure you don't cut out any of the EXIF or metadata from your camera details. It really helps me to understand how you've shot your photographs and therefore how I can help you improve. So don't linger, get your critique booked, find out how good you are as a photographer with the viewpoints.